Hey, good morning, y'all. I'm over here in Napanee, Indiana. And yeah, the sun is just coming up. And man, it is white as it can be out here. I have like uh, two of these right here on the back of my deck. Well, I have this small one and I have a, um, a super big one. I'm just sitting here, man, chilling. Um, but I wanted to show y'all what it looks like out here. And uh, let me give y'all a little update on uh, what I just found out, all right? Hold on a second. Hey, y'all. Um, I know it looks a little dark. I probably could throw some lights on to see if I can shine some light into the, uh, hold on a second. Let's see what I can do. Cool, there we go. Um, I'm sitting here waiting to get off loaded. And uh, I got here about 6.30 this morning and it's about nine degrees outside last night it was it was it was it felt good and toasting the truck i felt great it was good then i got up this morning filled up got some dev got over here there was a another truck in front of me he got off loaded and um i'm sitting there wondering like why after he got off loaded he was about to leave and i'm wondering why are the lights flickering where the crane is at well, the Freightliner guy who was over here working on two of the engines just informed me that the owner told him that somebody hit a pole a little ways away from here and knocked down the power. Yeah. So he said, you know, you're going to be here for a minute. And I'm like, serious? But um, it's what... It's, it's what to expect in snow in, in bad weather you know people driving people slipping and slide people hit poles my only thing is I hope the person uh, was just doing some work you know and maybe cut the wrong line or something like that and I hope it wasn't an accident where that person uh, hurt themselves um, so yeah I'm sitting there waiting man for for everything to to clear up and for them to get me get power back over here so they can get these two chassis off my deck. I was supposed to be driving down to South Bend, Indiana to pick up a, a load, then go down to um, uh, Michigan to pick up another portion of a load to take that down to Georgia. Uh, don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know. So it's kind of crazy, but just wanted to give you guys a little update. The sun's coming up and uh Man, I man, I was I thought I'd be in and out, man. Yeah, I thought I'd be in and out. You know, this is funny. I thought that the um, the weather last year in Oregon, Utah, Washington, I thought that snow was crazy. Man, it ain't got nothing over here, man. I don't know. If this considered to be the Midwest, but uh, it's terrible, man. And the guys like, well, it, it, it's worse than than what I experienced on the western region or the western side with the snow over there. This right here it seems like they kind of keep the roads a little clearer, it's easier to drive, but it's so much snow. It's like it, it's never stopping. It's like it stops for a, a little while, then it snows more. It stops for a little while, then it snows more. And you talking about boy, I mean, look. Man, if you was a kid, you talking about building a snowman out here. Man, look. You can build a snow family out here. It's so much snow out here. And this is the crazy part. The dude who offloaded... Also, let me, let me, I ain't mean to change something. I know I'm all over the place. But the dude who offloaded before me, he had two chassis as well. The first one that he offloaded, the brakes are frozen on it. So they can't move it. The second one that they offloaded, I think the starter was frozen or the batteries was dead or something like that. But they end up getting, they jump one, they end up getting it started. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm sitting there waiting. If this video stops, it's because my company called me. It's probably going to call me back and let me know uh, what they want me to do after this. But I'm here. I got to make the delivery. I just got to wait for them to get 
get the stuff off off the deck. I don't know how they're gonna do it. They may do it with a super size man size forklift. I don't know. Um, my total weight is about thirty two thousand pounds, so I don't know. We'll see. But just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know what's going on. And uh, yeah, I'm just sitting there waiting in my truck, just trying to uh, stay stay warm and stay uh, stay dry. Anyway, man, one of my one of my gloves it, it got a hole in the thumb, and man, my thumb, I, man, I was like, I gotta do something about this. I messed around to get gangrene, man. My my, my thumb beat fell off, man. Uh, so I'm like, I, I get back to a truck stop, man. I got to buy some more gloves. I got to say, I told, I think I told my wife and my daughter, if y'all want to get me something else for Christmas, give me some gloves. Give me some work gloves. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was the company calling. And uh, they basically just told me to keep them informed on what's going on. And uh, just as soon as they get me offloaded, um, let them know so that, um, you know, I can get ready to get going. This is the crazy part. I only had about eight hours left on my 70. I was going to get four hours back tonight. And then after that, I was going to get good hours back. Nine hours, nine, 50, 10. After that, after the day, it's all good. I'm going to get out here and close my, uh, my trailer back so that it's not full of snow. And then I reckon we'll go from there. All right. Y'all take care. Be good. Bye.